I'm going to show you how to display information from a text file with C Sharp. Let's get it. What's up, everybody? I'm Prefix and welcome to another Unity tutorial. Now, previous to this, we actually had a video on how to send information to a text file, and I'll link that down in the description. So let's do this. So to capture the text, we need to display it somehow. So what we're going to do is create a UI element that's going to hold that information. So let's create UI panel. And inside this panel, we're going to go ahead and create a scroll view. Okay. And let's just go ahead and adjust the size of the scroll view. Okay. Now inside the scroll view and inside the content, we're going to create a text. Let's just go ahead and place this text, how we want it to appear. If we were to say have a bunch of different lines of text appear in this box, let's go ahead and scale it up and let's rename this text to recall text. Then we're going to drag this down to the assets folder to create a prefab. And next let's go ahead and create our directory where we're going to hold the text itself, the text document. Okay. So inside assets, I want to create another folder and let's name this folder streaming assets. Now inside streaming assets, we're going to create another folder or directory, whichever you prefer. And that folder or directory is going to be called recall chat. Now inside of recall chat, we're going to go ahead and place our text file. Okay. And what I opened was just a simple notepad and I'm going to input a lot of lines of whatever we want. So I'm just going to put all that in real quick and then we're going to save it to that directory recall chat. So as you can see, we created a lot of lines of text. Okay. Now we're just going to go ahead and save this to this directory. So I'm just going to search for it in the window here and you see we're in the text tutorial. So this is the text tutorial document that we have here. We're going to go to assets. And inside that assets folder, we have streaming assets and then recall chat. And we're just going to save it in here and we're going to call this uh, chat. Now, once we save that, you'll see that there's the actual chat file here. So if we click that and open it up, you'll see that there is an actual text file with all that stuff we just had there, right? So let's go ahead and close that. Now, the next thing we need to do is actually pull that information off of the text file, pull it in through C sharp and then output it into this content window. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and create a C sharp script and we'll call it get text. Let's go ahead and open that up in visual studio. All right. So let's blow all this away real quick. That way we can start with a slate clean slate. Now you know that we're going to be working with UI elements and we're going to be working with the input output. So we need to use those two things. So the first one is using UniEngine.ui, and the next one is using system.io. Okay. What we need to do now is create two public variables. Now the first one is going to be a transform. And we're going to call this content window. This is the content window that that text is going to be placed in. Okay. The next public variable that we need is the actual text lines itself, that prefab that we created earlier, and we'll just call it recall text object. So let's jump down here to a start function. So we're just going to place this in a start function. That way, whenever we run this program, it's going to go look into that file, grab the information we want and display it. So the first thing we're going to do inside the start method is get a reference to that text file. Okay. And how we do that is a local string variable called read from file path, but we're going to make that equal application streaming asset path. So streaming asset path is that first folder that we created that streaming assets. Then we're going to go into that next folder that we created called recall chat. And then the file that we want is actually named chat. Remember we named the file chat. So that's what we're looking for. And then of course it needs to know what type of file it is. So we're going to call it .txt. Now that we've stored a way to get it, we need to actually use that. So we're just going to do another local variable and this is going to be a list. What we need to do is create using system dot link up here so that we can use the list effectively. So inside this local list that we named file lines, okay, we're going to go through and we're going to read every single line inside this chat document, this chat text. And then it's just going to put it in a list. Now what we need to do is take that information and actually display it. So the very next thing we're going to do is loop through that list. And how we do that is we instantiate recall text object, and then we're going to place it inside that content window. So what we need to do next is just fill in the text that was on the recall text object. We're going to get that recall object that we just spawned and get the component text that's attached to it. And what we're going to put in there is, every single line that we went through. 
And that's all we need to do. So let's save this. Let's go back into Unity. And let's just go ahead and put a reference on a couple of things. So we have this canvas object, right? And for no good reason, just because we can, we're going to go ahead and put this script that we just created onto that canvas object. Now notice that we're looking for two variables in here. The first one is the content window. That would be this one. It's looking for the transform. Okay. The very next thing we're going to do is add this recall text. It needs to know what it's going to spawn. So now that it has what it's going to spawn and where it's going to spawn it at, all we need to do is hit play and we'll see this play out. Awesome. And now we know how to display information from a text file into unity. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And as always stay creative.